Hey, today we're going to be going over the analog rhythm over bridge in Ableton workflow that I found to be most comfortable and uh, most versatile, especially for mixing. With this, you can have all of the instruments and sounds plus samples broken out into separate channels, uh, which will allow you to take advantage of the EQing and uh, compression and whatever other mixing techniques that you need to do to get your mix right. Before any of this, you'll obviously have to have Overbridge installed, but once you do that, you can, you'll find your VST right here. Uh, so just bring in your, your VST for analog rhythm right there. So we're gonna get our first audio channel here. We're not gonna name it yet because the most efficient way of going about this is just first before, again, naming it, you just select your input from the analog rhythm, which is enabled by Overbridge, and then you select the track that you want. Then you just duplicate your tracks to however many you would like to capture individually. And I'm just going to get bass tom. So this could obviously be whichever ones you like. Doesn't have to be all of them, doesn't have to, can only be one. I mean, I guess at that point uh, <laughs> would be a little bit pointless, but um, now I'm just going to name all of them. You are pretty much ready to do what you need to do. Uh, and you just enable record on all of these and do in so you can hear what you're doing. And then you probably want to make this sends only. And now the only downside with this is that you can't uh, work with any of the effects here, but obviously most of these effects, as great as they are, are pretty much only there for the handiness of being there. <laughs> uh, you can pretty much do all the same effects with whatever you need with VSTs, with uh, stock Ableton plugins, Max, whatever. So, um, you can start designing sounds. Okay. Now, remember, obviously, you will only hear the tracks that you had picked and uh, obviously have record enabled. So, just keep that in mind. Now, a wonderful thing about Overbridge is that you have this amazing menu that, you know, while it doesn't have the knobs and the physicality of your actual model, it, you can see all of these options laid out in, at once. And it's great. I love the workflow of it. You can bounce between, you know, messing around with the knobs and having some tactility, or you can just go for the straight, absolute, convenience of this plugin. So we're going to load a preset here just for a couple. Okay. And of course you can use um, any presets that are stock that came with a, an electron pack or your own. And you can also mess with samples here. Again, whatever came with packs or your own samples, and you can also use this to load your own samples. Um, but we're just gonna stick to the sounds here. Okay, so if you wanna draw in MIDI or use a software sequencer, cause you, uh, the <laughs> analog rhythm sequencer isn't good enough for you, not that that's possible, um, but, uh, say you are one of those people and you just want a simple MIDI thing. I mean, you know, obviously for, for actual applications, you know, having a 16, having only the 16th notes of, uh, four quarter notes is not the best layout. You know, if you want to do nine, eight, um, if you want to do, yeah, if you want to do compound meter, if you want to do 
an odd time signature. It's not the most conducive thing. So you can draw in MIDI notes and then on the output, select any track that you want. Obviously, it will be pitched, so you just gotta find whatever pitch you want. That's the bass drum right there. And you could do the same thing again, just uh, bringing in here. So, uh, <laughs> so we have all of them going on at once, which is fun. Um, but yeah, that pretty much just illustrates whatever you want. And obviously you'll be linked up with tempo and everything. If you want it to be really slow, if you want it to be really fast, you have it right at your fingertips. Um, and anything else? Oh yeah, obviously if you want to do a, here, I'm just going to draw up a quick pattern here and So already, you know, I would have a mixing decision of bringing this bass tom down a little bit. But yeah, you can independently um, manipulate effect. Let's bring in effects here, actually. Let's do some effects.
So, of course, with this, you can record whatever you like, uh, however long you like as well. Here, you see. So, it's really good. Uh, also, for capturing any finger drumming performances or anything. So yeah, I I definitely suggest checking out uh, this workflow if you haven't already. I think it's a pretty intuitive one. Um, but I know when I was first approaching Overbridge, I, it took me a little bit uh, to get the hang of it. And also, I think if I didn't have as much experience as I did with just routing and stuff in Ableton, probably wouldn't have had that much of an easy time picking it up. I really enjoy this workflow and uh, I hope it helps anyone that needed it out there. Uh, have a good one. So check back in on this channel for so check back in for more tutorials on this channel and uh, hope you have a good one.